Now Lisa can sit back and wait for property prices to rise. Let's hope we can get it right again when I surprise Christopher Jevons after the break. Need some vitamin C, Mother? Sorry, you're being very health conscious. No, price conscious. To keep Tesco prices permanently low, your favorite fresh fruit and vegetables cost even less than last year. Thank you, madam. Oh, I feel better already. Tesco, every little helps. Every day, Claims Direct is working for thousands of people. People who've had accidents, people just like you. So, if you've been injured as the result of an accident, then call Claims Direct now, because you could be entitled to compensation. Claims Direct is one of the UK's leading personal injury specialists with over 300 claims managers dedicated to helping the victims of accidents. If you've suffered an injury at work as the driver or passenger in a car accident or a trip or fall anywhere, then call Claims Direct now. We've helped thousands of accident victims, people like Carrie Gillis. After seeing the ad on telly, I made one phone call, they took it from there and I received over £5,000. Remember, we can underwrite the total cost of making your claim. If we're not successful, you don't pay us a penny. So don't delay. If you've been injured, call Claims Direct now to find out if you could be entitled to compensation. Phone Claims Direct free on 0800 44872. Call now. Don't go cracking up over cooking. Take it easy this Easter with my family feaster. Eight juicy pieces of chicken, freshly prepared on the premises, and all the extras. I've even cracked dessert, too. I'm throwing in six galaxy caramel eggs. So if you're juggling your life, <laughs> drop everything <laughs> and head on down to KFC. <laughs> all you got to show out is $9.99. Nobody gets chicken on KFC. The next best thing to being there. Hello Magazine. Famously good value. Out now. Moburn Spring Sale is now on at over 200 showrooms nationwide. Every kitchen's half price. Selected NEF appliances are half price. And installation is included in the price of every kitchen. What's more, this week there's an extra 10% off every range and a free dishwasher with every kitchen. Call 0800 413 413 for your nearest Moban showroom. If 30 of you work together like we do and buy as a group on the net, you can save £249 each on this new Fujitsu Siemens Kelvin computer, complete with a 10 second startup. Let's do it. Only with Let'sBike.com. It's got biscuit, it's got caramel, it's got chocolate. Just a thing when you're killing time. I've come to Greenford in Middlesex to meet Miss Sarko Jevons. She wants my help to find a special birthday present for her husband Christopher. I hear he's a bit of a hoarder. Can't wait to help to add to his collections. Hi, Hello, Miss Sarko. Hi. Come in, please. Thank you. Now, where is he? He's at work. Is he? And how long have we got? An hour. Well, not long. No. Okay, well, lead me straight away to where he keeps most of his things. Um, he's got a special room upstairs. Has he? Go. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Gosh, I don't know where to begin. I'll tell you one thing I know about your chap already. He's very tidy, isn't he? <laughs> very tidy. And he collects tickets from whatever he's been and whatever he's done. And um, so he's into football. Yes, he is. Well, who's his side? Aston Villa. Aston Villa, right, okay. There was actually a, a football programme that sold recently for £7,000. Um, it was the Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Preston North End Cup final in the 1880s. Yeah. So the thing is, don't throw your programmes away and don't throw your tickets away. How did you two meet, as a matter of fact? Uh, we met in Singapore mm -hmm. uh, on the training course at the time we worked for both the same company. Right. And um, then we decided to meet again about three months later, mm -hmm. and he proposed me, so... <laughs> what, you only met him twice before you married that's him? Right, yes. Really? Yes. And what have we got over in the box of tricks over there? Let's um, have a look. That's his treasure box. Okay. He likes watches, doesn't he? He does. What's in this one, for example? Well, there's a nice pocket watch, look. That's uh, an Omega. Um, very good make. And it looks as though it's in a silver-plated uh, case. 
That's a nice pocket watch. I mean, for the most part, you can pick up a pocket watch, a Victorian one, for uh, less than £100. Really? Yeah. Wow. However, having said that, there was a pocket watch uh, sold not so very long ago by Patek Philippe. They don't come much better. £6 million. Pounds, wow. Okay. And realise that time is very, very short. So um, why don't we have a look uh, downstairs and see uh, what more we can uh, snoop out and what I can find out about your man. Okay. Okay, come on, show me the way. Right, Eric. This is our lounge. Oh, it's nice. Lovely, vibrant colours. Tell me, what was the last thing that you bought him? Come on. Nothing. He, I bought a pair of socks. Yeah, but the last thing, a bit more personal than socks. You know, what's um, perhaps cufflinks. Cufflinks? Oh, yes, right. Now, I like cufflinks. Do I think, you? Yeah, I do. I think if you're ever in doubt what to buy a man, buy him some cufflinks. Um, now, which are your favourites that we've got here? Um, this one I bought him. All oh, right, let's have a look. Oh, they're very stylish, aren't they? With this lovely enamel. I like that colour. You like that colour? Yes. If you're interested, you can buy Victorian examples, you can buy Edwardian examples, and sometimes they're really good when you get them in their original fitted cases. So, yeah, food for thought, cufflinks, but I'll tell you what, I like the look of your uh, wood carvings. That dragon is wonderful. Now, I know it's from the Far East. Is it um, Southeast Asian? Bali. Um... Oh, it's Balinese. How many colours? One, two, three, four. Now, the only reason I look at that is that Whenever you come across the dragon, certainly in, in Chinese art, mm -hmm. um, the symbolism is such that if a dragon has got five claws, that indicates that he's imperial. I think it's lovely. And you've got two lovely children. And here's the man himself. <laughs> so I'm getting together this sort of mental picture of Chris. He's into this collecting, isn't he? He, he doesn't throw much away. I'm thinking now of the ephemera. He's got the, the watches that he's collecting, the cufflinks themselves. Obviously keen on sculpture. He's also an Aston Villa supporter. So the question is, how much are we going to spend on him? I've got a budget of £100, Eric. With £100, I can tell you we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Are you up for, uh, up for a shot? Yes, of course. You are? Yes. Now, the West End of London is the home to uh, some pretty exclusive retail stores. You've got Harrods, you've got Liberty. But today, I'm going to take you to Portman and Mason. Now, uh, believe it or not, they sell everything you can think of. They even sell antiques. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Ooh. Now, your man likes cufflinks, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does, yes. Now, what we've got here. Most of these are all sort of Victorian. Um, one or two Edwardian. Yeah. Oh, what about these? These are nice. The um, no, he didn't like it. It's too fancy. Too fancy? Yes. All right. But those are nice. The dogs. Oh, that's nice. Yeah? Yes. Shall we have a look at those? Yes. Okay, hang on. Oh, excellent. Right, what have we got there? A pair of cufflinks, which is in the style of an Essex crystal. Now, an Essex crystal was very popular during the Victorian age, and it worked on the principle that you would take a piece of rock crystal, you would polish it into a bead, and then carve in from the reverse. And in this case, the shape of a dog's head, which has then been hand-painted, again, from behind. So it, it gives the effect of being in relief. Yes. Now, the, the mounts themselves are gold-plated, so there's very little chance of these being rock crystal. It's probably, probably glass, okay? But 90 pounds is not a bad price. I'll definitely put it on the list as an option. You think so? Yes, I think so. All right, well, I'm pleased to know it. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Miss Sarko, do you like English tea? Yes, I do. You do. Now, this is, this is not for Chris. This is my hot tip, OK? Mm -hmm. Tea caddy spoons, they go back to the 18th century. That's in the days when you would actually uh, have a caddy. We've got one here, look. You keep your tea in there. You would take the tea out loose, and then you would then pour it into your teapot. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that they are well worth collecting today. Now, look at the price on the back of this. £25. I mean, it's got to be worthwhile. They're my hot tip. So that's my second hot tip today, tea caddy spoons. Look out for the earlier ones, which have a scrolling handle. Well, there are lots of lovely things for us to look at. Yeah. Oh, nice boxes and tea caddies. Nice. We've got this one's, this one's not got any edge. Oh, this is nice, look. I'm just thinking now in terms of um, cufflinks. That'd be nice. Yeah? Yes. I think it's one up on that Perspex box between me and you. What have we got? First of all, it's hide, and it's made in England. 
Now, what about uh, the interior? That's pig skin. And mm. it's nicely done. 95. Not a bad price, is it? No, not at all. Yeah? No. So what do you think, Masaka? It's a great choice, Eric. You think so? I like it. I like it as well. Our next shopping stop is Gray's Antiques Market near Bond Street, where I know a stall holder who might be selling something very close to Chris's heart. No, I don't think dolls are for him, do you? No. Oh, now this is looking a bit more hopeful. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think this is your husband's team. I think this is Aston Villa. Excuse me, could you just uh, confirm? Are we looking at Villa? Good afternoon. Yes, you are. This is Aston Villa. This is a squad picture from the 1999-2000 season. Uh, it's a mount that's been signed by 19 members of the squad when they were down in London. How do you know whose signature it is? Uh, we give you a map. So on the back of it will be a map indicating okay. who signed it and where. So you've got the Paul Merson, Ian Taylors and David Jameses, so you know exactly. And how much is it? This particular piece as it stands is £100. Okay. That's the right price. It's yes. the right sort of price, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Obviously, it does need a frame round it. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Then we've got um, a choice here. You put it on the wrist. You put it on the wrist, okay. So that's three gifts we've chosen for Chris. But which one is Masako heading for? Is it the painted glass cufflinks? Cufflinks go back to the mid-17th century. Look out for established designers like Cartier, Tiffany and Fabergé. They've always been the most desirable. Or perhaps the English hide and pigskin box. Boxes were an indispensable part of Victorian and Georgian life. And if you like them, remember, workmanship is everything. Or finally, will Masako choose the signed photograph of the Aston Villa squad? Football memorabilia has exploded in the last few years, but there are still some great bargains around. Which one will Masako pick and what will Chris think of her decision? To find out, Masako is throwing a birthday party back in Greenford for Chris and a few friends. This job is turning me into an expert gatecrasher. Because uh, I've been here before and I've had a good old snoop around your face. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, with, uh, with my expertise and with Masako's money, we've been doing a little bit of buying for you. Now, I know that you've got all those tickets for all those events that you've been to. Not just football matches. No, you, you actually are a culture vulture. You go to the ballet. <laughs> well, Misako says she drags you to the ballet, actually. Now, I also know that, uh, that your team playing Claret and Blue what happened is that I went, to, I went shopping with Masako and I actually found three gifts. We did actually find a very nice pair of late Victorian cufflinks, didn't we? We also found a rather splendid uh, hide-covered uh, box that was ideal for putting cufflinks in. And then the other object that we found was a colour photograph of the Aston Villa team <laughs> for the 1999 year 2000 season of those three things that I just told you. Which of those three would you like most of all? <laughs> <laughs> now, which one would it be? <laughs> Don't be swayed by the crowd no, here. I think it has to be the uh, signed photograph. Okay, well, look, I, I'm not going to say any more at this stage. Masaka? Um. You were giving me a surprise, but I've never done it before. Oh. <laughs> so I want to very be sure for your birthday. So this is perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Oh, yeah. Absolutely wow. fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. Good job. Oh, wow. Football fans are so easy to buy for. Next on It's a Gift, I surprise Elizabeth Einmarch with a special gift from her work colleagues. And I go shopping for Dot Russell to get her a touching thank you present from her dance partner. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. 
We're raising money to bring Elvis back from Mars. Thank you very much. Three lucky people who finished today. How did it go? <laughs> a little weird, appalling, Christine. I hit the wall at about 18 miles, and um, after that, just keeping going was a struggle. But uh, we kept going, the crowd lifted us when we stopped. We made it. People don't realise when you hit that wall, your legs just go. It is awful, awful. yes. Mine was very similar, about 18, 19, it's just gone, and you just dig in and hang on to the finish then. Very hard. It's worth it, all finished, all done. Yeah, yeah I, I was hanging on towards the end, but I saw my son it was about 25 miles. And that was it, and I just fly into the last mile and a bit. I, you know, once I seen the son of my mates, you know, that, that really did boost in me. So, because I was hanging on up to that point, and it was, you know, it was really hard to him. But I did I beat Roger Black? <laughs> I think you did, because we haven't seen him yet. But it weren't your best races, but well done for finishing. Thank you, Christy. So, um, I read somewhere this week that actually Antonio Pinto, um, you know, the winner has been saying you must have a glass of wine before the marathon, but you've decided to have one on the way around. Yeah, that's right. I've had some grapes as well, um, raising funds for the National Asthma Campaign. And there are some lovely purple grapes out at the moment, which is the asthma colours. Fantastic. And a very fetching uh, little item that you're wearing. Who came up with this? Um, Dave from the uh, Golden Cage in Nottingham. Uh, I wanted something that was uh, minimal and uh, had, had, the, had the asthma theme, which is why I've got the big purple grapes. Nice and revealing as well. Well, that's your opinion and the opinion of some other people, but, uh, you know, it's a hot day and I'm having fun. And that's amazing. The crowds are fantastic. They are absolutely awesome. And it's a fancy dress for runner, particularly, or as a uh, runner, you know, they come out and they support you and it makes it so much easier. I mean, you basically just... Time goes quickly. Brilliant. Well, you've only got a few minutes to run now, so uh, good luck. OK, Thank thanks for your help. So London looking quiet, but just anything but quiet. There are still thousands and thousands out on the roads. Just look at that sight. It's unbelievable. And by the end of the day, David, when 30,000 roughly will finish the London Marathon, a total of 440,000 people will have finished the London Marathon in its 20 years history. And here's to its next 20 years. Well, we've seen... Uh, Marvellous races at the front, and some great fundraising at the back. The target, £20 million pounds this year, and I'm sure they'll reach it. Look at that. 13 and a half.